Once you've printed your instructions, you're going to see all the tools and materials required. Hoop your tearaway stabilizer and tighten that screw. Insert a brand new needle, top thread, and bobbin. Sew stitch number one, which is a placement stitch to show you where to place your vinyl. Place the vinyl directly over that stitch and tape to secure in place. Insert the hoop back into the machine and sew all the detail stitches. Once you've finished all your detail stitching, turn your hoop to the wrong side. Place the back of your key fob directly over the stitching and use a nice long piece of tape which will cover either side of the plastic. This will help prevent the material from rolling while you're stitching. It's a fantastic tip, something that you can use for all in the hoop projects. Insert the top final thread and the matching bobbin. When stitching is finally complete, go ahead and remove the hoop from the machine and all the stabilizers from the materials and cut all the way around, leaving about an eighth of an inch or so. It's really entirely up to you. Make sure you cut through all the layers and do not cut the stitching. You'll notice it's the same for both of the key fobs. Be sure to turn your cutting mat to the wrong side. This way you don't destroy the front of it. There are some wonderful eyelet setting tools, but today I'm just gonna use a basic setting tool. First, we're going to pierce the placement for the eyelet with a pair of sharp scissors. Go ahead and cut any extra material away that you think you need for the size of the eyelet and any extra thread. Insert the front eyelet with the prong toward the back. Turn the project to the wrong side and use the setting tool with a hammer. Looks great. Now we're just going to go ahead and use a traditional key ring to slip right on top of there. And if you like, you can also add a little lobster hook. Now let's talk about the snap tab. First, use your awl to pierce through the placement for the snaps. Place one cap on the front. And then we're going to use the female side. I do have a setting tool here and I'm gonna place the cap facing down. Press hard and now your first one is perfectly set. We're gonna repeat the same steps for the male snap. The cap will go on first. Use your nails to push down the extra vinyl and then we're going to attach the male. Use the snap setting tool with the cap facing down. Press hard and there you go. Now we're just gonna slip on a key ring, and again, if you wanna add on the extra lobster hook, that is entirely up to you. What's great about this video tutorial is that this is gonna be the same steps for any of the snap tabs or the eyelet key fobs. So have fun.